Hey guys, it's Folk Arts here, live and direct from Montreal, Quebec for a change, as opposed to Brooklyn, New York. And in front of me today, look at this thing here. I have a box of the OPG 2002-2003 Hockey. Uh, nine packs per box, uh, nine cards per pack. And these are pretty much interchangeable with the tops from this era. In fact, tops and OPG have been in tandem since the 1960s. So what's so special about this box? Uh, I believe sometimes they have oversized cards that you have to look out for. Uh, this also is in French and in English. I believe the oversized checklist is right there. Uh, what else would we have within here? <clears throat> uh, perhaps some odds if we're uh, lucky, fortunate. Let's see. Uh, you can see that there are sequentially numbered OPG blue, blue line parallel cards, one of 17. Uh, there are the red lines, one of 82, I believe. Rookie Redemptions, one of 40. Uh, Rookie Redemptions expired in 2003, I believe. Um, and then there's other inserts like Hometown Heroes, uh, Stanley Cup Heroes. There is a rookie re reprint of <clears throat> of Patrick Roy, and uh, I believe one of them uh, is autoed, if you can imagine that, if you can hit that, if you can be super uh, lucky and fortunate, and, uh, and so on and so forth. But we shall see what we get within here. Okay, there we go. So this is our box, man. How does that look to you? Looks pretty good to me. Uh, let's see if we can open it in some form or fashion. This packaging is pretty old school right here. 2002-2003. Uh, we are talking a long while ago. Okay. In fact, some 16 years ago. And look at this block of styrofoam. I mean, are they expecting me to throw this thing off a building? Uh, there's the oversized card. These are supposed to be oversized cards. And then we have the packs. And then another piece of styrofoam in there. There's our box. There is there are packs. And let's see who the oversized card is. Maybe you poked a peek at it already. The oversized card. Oh cool, it's Mario. That's pretty fortunate and fortuitous and lucky. Uh, decent happenstance right then and there. So we hit the Mario. 19 of 25 Mario oversized card. Uh, with regard to our packs here, uh, let's see how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's what we'd be looking for. Uh, in terms of the rookie class, I think that's one thing that I should sort of mention. Um, there are redemption cards for the rookie class. I actually have them already, believe it or not. Um, but it is Henry Zetterberg's rookie class. Um, it's Jason Spezza's rookie class and Dave Meister, Alex Hemsky, Rick Nash, Chuck Kobesu. All those cats exist as a redemption, a sealed plastic redemption, which I already received and have. What on earth is this? What, what is going on here? Well, let's see. What is that like? misprint or something? I don't know what's going on there. We'll see in a, in a second. So these are really stuckified, glueified. Uh, this is going to be an interesting break. Uh, okay, we'll check out that, that card of Many Legacy. And there is Eric Belanger. And here we have Matt Cullen, who's had a long, long illustrious career. Uh, Sergei Fedorov, Mr. 91 with the Red Wings. And we have a season highlights of Patrick Roy. So the season highlights is card 317. Um, I don't know. I believe those are probably a little bit rare would be my best guess. Uh, let's continue on here. Oh, wow. We have a die cut. Huh. Very cool. So we have an Andy Hilbert, a Sean Bates, something else here. I think that's a hab. The die cut's a hab. It looks to be a hab. Maybe it's a 93 cup hab. We'll see in a second. If I can unglue these cards uh, this lifetime. And there's the normal size Mario. So we hit the normal size Mario. And, oh, ch check this out. We have the Steve Shut Hockey Heroes die cut. That is really nice. I hit a Steve Shut Stanley Cup die cut. Huh. Do we want to take a peek again, take a look, and see what our odds were on hitting that one? That is called a Stanley Stanley Cup Heroes. is 1 in 40, and we hit it um, out of 9 packs. So the odds were certainly dead set against us hitting that. To hit a half on the list is even better. So that's fun. 
That's cool. It's enjoyable. Uh, I'm very familiar with these cards, actually. I've seen both the OPGs and collected both the OPGs and the... Um, there's Team Miscellany in the top. So similar. Simon Gagné. Is that my character? Well, that's kind of a sick photo. We have a Brad Evister. And here we have a Prospects card. So this uh, Prospect part um, of Radovojevic is... Um, I guess it's considered maybe perhaps a rookie card, something to that effect. Uh, kind of cool, and that's, I guess it's higher up on the checklist, up in the 270s. There's a Mark Savard, who also was with your Bruins, and a Scotty Niedermeyer. There's both Scotty and Rob Niedermeyer. They both won a cup together, and they played against each other, and one won the cup, and the other one lost a cup, which is the deal with the Niedermeyers. Uh, I'm sure they both, when, when they played together, one were the A, the other one were the C. Which is sort of how they did it. These are so stuck and glued. It's not even funny. What a cool blaster, though. I'm really enjoying this. Sergey Zubov. There's Peter Forsberg. There's Eric Cole. You know Eric Cole's been around a long time when these cards are from 2002-2003. Adrian Oquan. Brad Richards. It's sort of hot. Nice little Brad Richards. He hoisted it. Uh... There's Sam Sinoff and a Tom Pody. There's still a stack of these left. Ooh, this pack's are shredding a bit here. Old school cards glued together. Been, been in the box forever. But we have an insert here. Maybe I'll hold off on the insert just for this. Although it seems to be that there's quite a few. And this one feels thick, doesn't it? I don't know what's going on here. I'm not really sure what to expect. Here, let me let me zoom out. I should zoom out. I've been zoomed in the entire time. There we go. That's a bit better. Jeff O'Neill. Here's another prospects, and it's Bruno Saint Jacques. It's a nice nice name. It makes me think of dinner though. Uh, Peter Morel. Oleg Trevanotsky. Uh, you, you'd think I'd remember how to say that. Uh, Roman Turk. Redeem Verbata. Redeem Verbata played over a thousand games in the NHL, just recently retired. Luke Robitai, season highlights. And we have a Mike Medano, back when he was still playing. He was the first overall, believe it or not. Uh, believe it, considering how good a player he was. Got a checklist? Did we have a checklist up in our mix here? Man, this is fun. What a fun box. OPG never uh, disappoints. Note that these OPG cards in these couple years, around 2000 through 2003, 4, were very sort of glossy filming, probably all the way up until about 2006. Uh, continuing on, Adam Oates, one of the purest passers in the history of our game. Vincent Danfus, who put up 40 goals in Montreal and sort of hasn't really been done since, save a patch coming super close. Uh, Hagman, Brian Savage also played on the Habs. Pavel Dimitra with his doing his best uh, Agassi impression. And here we have a prospect of Sheldon Keefe. We do have a checklist. So we have Marco Stern, and then we have a checklist. These are pretty thin. These are thinner than the other cards, very papery. They're not really like full cards. Fulsome full cards. All right, man. Let's see. Man, it's so hard to unglue these. It's not even funny. Trevor Linden. We have a Shane Corson, who sort of made the rounds of many teams. I believe he wore the C on St. Louis, if you can imagine that. He definitely hoisted it with the Habs. Brendan Witt. Oh, here, we've got a, we have a Hab here. We have a Zednik in, in the Habs' big fail years. The early 2000s, the Habs were sort of a disaster. Here you see we have Mark Messier, so he's still up in the mix back then. Uh, Nicholas Lidstrom. And an Al McInnes. Al McInnes, we all know why Al McInnes is famous. Played with Calgary, played with uh, St. Louis. Most renowned, most known for that shot of his, of course. 
made many an all-star game. Rob Blake, Jason Smith, Chris Drury, Chris Colonis. We have a Kenny Johnson. Well, this is a nice one of Marty Biron. Marty Biron, big blue-eyed wonder, uh, is a uh, analyst uh, right now for Buffalo. Uh, pretty good with his sort of accent. He still does a great job of it. Uh, I don't find his accent too distracting. Uh, I wouldn't, it wouldn't bother me because I'm from Quebec, but I know some people don't necessarily like accents or are distracted by them, but uh, in an international game such as hockey, man, I'd rather have a great analyst with a mediocre accent than a poor analyst with a fantastic accent. accent. Uh, continuing on here, we did hit a, an Iggy. Iggy! With it there! <laughs> Punched along to Jerome McGinley. Crosby scores! It's over! The gold medal to Canada! And he's on the ice for McGinley. McGinley scores it! As he gets, I always think of his gold medal goal. Uh, we have a prospect here of Brzgalov. Oh, that's kind of cool to get a prospect of Brzgalov. That's actually one of the better ones we can hit. Joey and Neuendijk, uh, Stanley Cup winner on uh, multiple teams, three teams. One of 11 to have done that in the history of the NHL, something to that effect. Uh, Radic Bonk. Radic Bonk. I believe he played in Las Vegas before the NHL. Something to that effect. Uh, well, look at this. Look at this. In action, action-packed Felix the Cat. This is one of the better Felix the Cat uh, photos I've seen. Victor Kozlov. We have Darian Hatcher. And then we have something here. And it's a Matt Sundin. And it, oh, look at this thing. So here is a tops insert. This isn't even a OPG. It's a tops insert. And we have Own the Game, this rainbow foil tops insert i guess these would be one per box if that right kind of nice i could put that information on the video that's kind of cool i like that a lot uh so let's continue on here this is our last pack uh, which i put aside because i thought i saw something so we have an all-star one of brendan sheenahan we do have a uh, robert lang i believe he played on apps for a minute uh there's jeremy roenick oh we have a nice josie theodore Pretty handsome looking Josie Theodore. Uh, this is a Mike Sillinger. Uh, and Zygmunt Palfi, one of the best hockey names ever, along with Zarla Zalapsky, etc. Scott Young. And then we do have something here. Oh, cool. It's a coast to coast insert. <laughs> Look at this thing. It's a coast to coast Joe Sackick insert. That is pretty hot. That's pretty hot. Okay, so we certainly got received a couple of the inserts. Uh, and, and just uh, of note, I mean, just to let you know, I definitely have had the redemptions. These are the tops ones, but I also have the OPG ones somewhere stashed away. Of um, These are the rookies, or some of the rookies. Jason Spezza, Bo Meester, Hemsky, uh, Kobasu, and there, Rick Nash. Also, there's a Zetterberg, I think, in the Rookie Redemption. But those Rookie Redemptions, you actually get a Redemption card, I believe, and then they send you in a plastic, a little bit like the Divisional MVP uh, Redemptions. So let's do a quick uh, recap, recount uh, of what we received in this awesome box. Okay, guys, so what did we receive within our box? We received a stack of these 2002-2003 OPG tops, uh, pretty much indistinguishable from the 2002-2003 tops. Uh, we also received an all-star, a bunch of all-star cards, or some all-star cards and prospect cards and season highlight cards. So uh, these are sort of, I guess, high-numbered cards on your checklist. So we certainly received, received uh, a a one season highlight, two season highlights, one all star, Ben Shanahan. A prospect, we did receive a Brisgala prospect, which is probably one of the better ones to receive, uh, as well as a season highlights of a Hua, which is also one of the better ones to receive, um, and a Luke Robitaille season highlights. So those would be our high numbered inserts, I guess. Uh, we did also receive three of these um, crazy inserts. So we received this. Beautiful rainbow foil of Own the Game, Matt Sandin. It's a tops card. 
as well as a Topps Joe Sackick insert. So I, I believe all these inserts are by definition Topps cards. And this really cool one, one of the first things I hit was this awesome Stanley Cup Heroes of Steve Shutt. And it's a die cut. It's a really sick die cut. Uh, and we're definitely not guaranteed those. Those are like every four or five boxes. Uh, in terms of our, our oversized card, uh, we actually received the Mary Lemieux, which is kind of one of the nicer, better ones to receive, I would assume, considering he is legendary, sort of always listed in the top four, uh, five players in the history of our game, if not the top first or second. And then I just found this while I was going through the base. I found this within the base, and it's a, uh, I guess, a retro legend card, um, and it's kind of cool because this is a duplicate uh, reprint of the nine of the 1966-67 uh, tops cards uh, most famous of course for the Bobby or rookie card and I hit the Pete Mahovlich who is a Habs guy so I hit two of our my inserts were Habs which is something I love uh, awesome card awesome insert um, it was glued to the back of one of the um, one of the uh, base cards so that's basically it guys a kind of interesting box of the OBG 2002-2003 hockey uh, I'm Fulton Cards. Please subscribe. Uh, pre please provide a like or provide some uh, commentary. Provide uh, negative feedback if you have to. Uh, I'm always listening to listen. I'm always, yeah, <laughs> listening to listen. Uh, Fulton Cards live and direct from Montreal, Quebec, and usually Brooklyn, New York. Please subscribe. <laughs>